How to set up shipping costs on Wix, best shipping settings for Wix. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another tutorial and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add your very own shipping costs on Wix and I'm gonna show you the best settings that you can add and the different groups and different features you can mess around with when it comes to shipping your products. I'm going to show you shipping domestically and internationally and I'm going to show you all the different features it comes with. So it's going to be very easy and very simple. I want you to sit back and relax and follow all of my instructions and listen to all of my information till the end of the video. It's going to be very simple and I'm going to walk you through all of it and it, it's going to be great. So just sit back, relax again. And by the end of this video, I'm going to guarantee you that you're going to properly know how to keep up the best settings for your shipping in Wix. So without further ado, let's go to our Wix dashboard. So this is our basic Wix dashboard. If you're not familiar with it, this is on the left hand side. You have all the features up here. You have all the explore help and your store actions. Over here, you can edit your sites and other things like that. So once you're familiarized with the Wix dashboard, what you're going to want to do is obviously, first of all, you're going to create a website for yourself. Now, once you've created a website, you're going to come down here and you're going to click on settings in the left hand side, as you can see. Now, once you clicked on settings, you're going to come here and you're going to come to uh, the feature where it says shipping and fulfillment, which is right here up over here. Define your shipping regions and rates. Now, once you click on that, uh, it's going to we're just going to wait for it to load up. OK, once it loads up. So first of all, it gives you let's set up your shipping settings together. Now you can either start a guide and I recommend you do this because it's an interactive guide that basically Wix gives you an expert by itself and it optimizes as you go and put in different information. So you could do that and I recommend you doing that because that just chooses the best settings. But if you don't want to do that, you can just follow me. So obviously there's two different types of shippings. There's the domestic shipping and the international shipping. And if you just want to add another region, you can add it from here. I don't think why you would use that, but if you do, for some reason, you can use it uh, by clicking on add region. Now, once you're here in domestic and rest of the world, here you can see that they both are set on free shipping. Now, obviously we don't want that. We want to put in some shipping costs. So for that, we're going to click on edit. And once you click on edit, now let's say you want to change your domestic, like for example, I live over here. Let's say I don't want this to be my domestic. I want some other country. So you can just add destination and what that does is it just changes your country. So first of all, over here, you can see select how shipping is calculated. Now, once you click on that, you can see all these different features other than free shipping. It gives us flat rates, rate by weight, rate by price, rate by product. You can choose any one of these. This totally depends on your product and it depends on however you want your revenue to be made. So I'd say flat rate and then shipping option name. You can put in any shipping option. So once you've done that, you're going to put in the estimated delivery time. This could be optional, but I just recommend you put it in because obviously you need to tell that to the uh, user or customer that's buying it from you. Then you're going to put in an optimum rate for the shipping. So make sure to add a good rate because you don't want it to be too high, but you don't want it to be too low. So just add it according to uh, the product, I guess. And then here it says offer free shipping when a customer buys over a certain amount. This is totally on you. Let's say if a customer buys on your store above 50 or $100, then you can allow this because they deserve that much. And you can add different other shipping options if you want to. If you go on local delivery here, you can add different local deliveries. All you need to do is just click on add local delivery. And from here on out, you can uh, change it using this map and click on add area and pick up. You can add different local and domestic pickups. And after that, once you've done what you're here to do, you can click on save. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically save your domestic uh, shipping. And for the international shipping, you're, it's the same. You're going to go on edit and you're going to change everything you have over here. Obviously, you're going to put the rate according to international shipping costs. And once you do that, you're going to save. 
and voila. From that, what's going to happen is your international and domestic shipping rates will be adjusted and it will be automatically integrated with your store that you have on your Wix. And yeah, that's how basic and easy it is to add and optimize your shipping cost settings on Wix. So that's how basic and easy it is. If you have any more questions related to this, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you straight away. But yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep all having a great day. That's all from me and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.